my gosh, there's like nobody here, kid. Closed. I think that's the monument down there to Billy the Kid. Yeah. Or you think that's it? Here we are at the Billy the Kid Museum and gift shop. Okay, so here's the deal. Billy the Kid's uh, buried out back. Um, the museum is a private museum. $3.50 to get in. Uh, there's a monument stuff downtown Sumner, uh, but the music, but the grave is just around the back side. Can't take any pictures or anything inside, so we can go look at the grave around here if you want to. Okay. Okay. So you have to stand on the picnic table and look at it? No, you have to go around. Go around. <laughs> There's a lot of dead people in here. <laughs> Not just Willie the Kid. And there's the guide dog. But there's where Billy the Kid's buried, right there. They think. They're not sure. And that big cage is built around there just in case he wakes up. <laughs> uh oh. No, no. Oh, that's funny. So here's Billy the Kid's grave. And here's where his pals are buried. So wait, what is it? What is it? You're supposed to throw money in there? Or what? Yeah. I don't know. For good luck? Because they didn't have such good luck, it appears. Pals. What? That's where his pals. Fellow bank robbers. Three tombs. Yes, yeah. three. So this is a uh, New Mexico tourist attraction. This one's Billy here. Ah. Which one's Billy Keith? This one. It says Billy. Oh, it does say Billy. Oh, it does say Billy. Right. Oh, right. Oh, lock down securely so There's Tom can't get away. That's Billy. It's kind of sad, isn't it? What does it say? Yes. The boy bandit. King. What does that say? He died as he had no. lived. Oh, that's the boy Band King. And so it goes, Billy the Kid and his pals buried here in the middle of New Mexico 
Um, and now it's a big New Mexico tourist attraction out off of Highway 60 West between Clovis and Santa Rosa. And we decided to pull off the road to see it. <laughs> you got to look at something. Cindy's found something over here too. I don't know what this is. What is it? It's Lucian Bonaparte Maxwell. Bonaparte? It was a native of Casca, Casca, Illinois, a fur trader and a Casca, We've been Casca. through there. Who, by industry, good fortune, and trading, became sole owner in 1864 the largest single tract of land owned by any one individual in the United States. He founded the first national bank of $250,000. So do you think that all, Peter Maxwell, who do you think that was? He lived longer than most of the people. So this is just like a whole cemetery. Yeah. Yeah, these other stones are markers too. This is the whole Harris family. Wouldn't you like to know that you were buried like with Billy the Kid? These guys just got rocks. A lot of little kids. A lot of little kids. It's pretty sad. So we've been here now, and I guess we'll say goodbye to the cemetery with Billy the Kid and his pals. It's really kind of cool. Not much out here, but uh, there's not really much in New Mexico, at least in rural New Mexico. So this was a nice diversion for the day. We're going to continue our trip on to Santa Rosa. All right, guys. Let's go. So what'd you think about Billy the Kid? I don't know. The movie was better. <laughs> the movie was better.